How's it going everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you some tips on how you can remove moisture and condensation like this in your headlight. Okay, so now that we know we have moisture in the light, what can we do to actually take it out? There is a lot of methods you can do to air all of this out and get it cleared out. There's also some things of consideration so that it doesn't come back again. Firstly, I'm gonna talk about the problems and what could cause this to happen. Then I'm gonna talk about what we can do to get it out and some possible solutions to keep it out of there if you do have some issues. So firstly, this is something I've come across many, many times over the years, especially doing body work and caused by damage. So cracked lens, a split in the assembly, anywhere around the top side where water can flow through, especially if you're getting an actual level on the underside of it. So if you're getting some water coming up through, that is a very clear indication that you got some damage. I used to always assess where the impact damage was so let's say across here check on the inner side of the housing if you had the bumper pushed in check on the lower side of the housing same when you're talking about the wing and upper part of the bumper here you would check on the inner and if you had the bonnet that got a bit of damage here you would check along the top side the seal and the lens and there is some cracking on the top side of the lens on this one now if you have just found that the moisture build up, you have a temperature change, maybe you've gone from a hot summer and you've gone into the winter and now you have moisture build up as you get to that colder uh, months. It can be a case of the backside of the headlight. You have seals across all of the different caps that the bulbs go into. Maybe you have some issues there or the vents. So headlights have different vents that allow it to breathe. You can get blockages in those. So as you see on the screen here, images of them, they can be difficult to get at, so they can be located in areas which means you might have to remove the headlight to get access to them. In some cases, they can be up around the top side and you can pull off those rubber um, attachments and you can try and blow them out and clear them out and make sure that the actual headlight is able to breathe. Now that's some of the issues that can cause it to um, condensate up like we have on this one. How can we get this moisture out? Now there's a couple of very simple and effective ways. I used to always use a compressor, compressed air and a hot gun and I would be using tools like this. So opening a cap on the back side where the uh, headlight bulbs go in and I would be using one of these to aim in and blow that air out or a shorter one like that. And in some cases I would be using a pipe attached to it which would sit around and clear all that out. I would be using a hot air gun on the front and the mixture of the cold air recirculating and the hot air used to dry them out and make it nice again. There is some other, other methods because not a lot of people will have shop air with that capacity of a tank to be able to clear it out easy. And the other way is using a vacuum and a hairdryer. So most households will have a hairdryer and a vacuum and what you can do is same principle applies is take the cap off a suitable cap you can take more than one off and allow the pipe to come in here and all you want to be doing is recirculating that air while heating up the actual lens and you will dry that out now if you didn't have any of these items there is one other thing that you could potentially do and that's take off all the caps take out all the bulbs and on a good day, I would say on a hot day, you could potentially bring it for a drive and maybe it would air out. I have in times gone by also thought about if the lens was damaged and you sealed it all up, but let's say the front was good, maybe a bracket got damaged, etc., like that, you could potentially create your own vents as well. So you could drill in and obviously you'd have to reseal it good and have a piping or a tubing coming out where you're allow, allowing the lens to breathe again if you went to the 
to the trouble of doing all that work and re resealing it and making it good. Okay, so I'm gonna set this up now. I'm gonna insert the pipe in the back, take one of the headlight uh, bulbs out, and then I'm gonna apply some vacuum and some hot air in the front, and you will see how easy this starts to absorb and clean out all of that. It's same as if you were using a dehumidifier in your house and you had moisture on the walls from lack of air circulation you can get the moisture out of the light by just you using some very simple methods. Okay, so I'm just gonna set this up quickly and just kind of give a quick demonstration and then I'm gonna work through it after that. What I have, first of all, is my air blow-off gun onto a piece of pipe, just like that. I'm gonna remove um, one of these bulbs, probably actually the indicator one here, allow the tubing in, and I'm gonna start blowing some air inside that while I use the hot gun, or in this case, a hair dryer, and apply some heat. So I'm just gonna do that quickly. Probably gonna get that, because that should go straight in there. And as you can see, the tubing is fed in. Now, be gentle, no matter what lens you have, you don't wanna crack anything. So either a very small pipe or something very flexible to where it's not gonna damage it. I can then push this in further and rotate it round and I can get that moving. What I'm also gonna to do to help is take off a couple of the other caps while I'm actually doing this so it'll be able to get that moisture out quicker. Got a hair dryer here ready to go. And I'm gonna start applying light pressure on this. So now you're getting the idea of what's happening. I'm gonna keep going with this, probably take 10 or 15 minutes or so and get this all um, cleared out. Now, like I said, you can use vacuum. If you have a big enough uh, air tank compressor, you can use that, whatever is suitable for you. Now after 25 to 30 minutes or so, I have managed to get out every drop of condensation that was in this headlight. Did take a bit more than I was expecting. There is a divider here, so I ended up uh, removing one of the park lights up the top 
and putting the pipe in and doing the same thing, applying heat. And I actually had the vacuum hooked up for the last 15 minutes or so on this as well. So if you have this issue, you can definitely get them all out. Bonus tip, if you haven't solved the underlying part and you suspect that the moisture might be coming back in, you can put the likes of these silica gels. You get them in vitamins and different household items for absorbing moisture. You can pack them in different parts of the headlight assembly. Like if you take out the um, cap off the back, there'll be plenty of different areas which won't be visible on the front for you to store these. And they may help or completely reduce any moisture that you might have in your headlight. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it useful and informative. If you did, please like, share, comment and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.